Well, it's a big day this weekend, not because Winx is chasing a 20th, but we're getting towards the, the major end of the carnival, and I tell you what, it's starting to get to him too. He looks a little bit under the weather, Chris. Uh, welcome again, but a lot of work and a lot of press commitments, particularly not just for your state, with, with Winx. Yeah, it's a huge privilege to be part of her career, and you've got to take the responsibility because it's getting out to, to new places. It's, it's putting her name uh, in, in public places outside of racing, outside of sport. So, yeah, it's been a lot of commitments and the voice is starting to show the effects, but radio and a bit of TV and, and obviously the, the mainstream media and papers, it's, yeah, it's great for racing. And there's a few concerned about her. I can't believe, I'm honestly, I'm the greatest defeatist in the world, but I think your runs have just been outstanding. Yeah, I'm with you, but we're often probably going to protect her a little bit more. She's our little darling. But I think what makes a good horse good Hang on, your wife's mowing on the lawn again. Steph, can you just wait till we finish? Thanks, Steph. Oh, God, she doesn't mind getting out and doing a bit of work. She's pretty good. <laughs> it's a big lawn, too. <laughs> um, so, I think she's going well. Um, She'll only, have, she'll only win by what she has to. She'll only beat what she has to. Full credit to Red Excitement last start. It was written to win the race. Oh, it so wasn't written to upset her. And it written like that is hard to beat. And Saturday's race, it looks good speed, which I think will be good. We want to see good pressure throughout the race, not just to sprint home. So I think she's going pretty well. I had a look back at her career um, this morning. And it was... It was a year ago, she raced four weeks into the race and she beat uh, La Squitty Spirit, run second to her, yeah. over a mile. Yeah, she knew she had the bar and run third. Like, she only beat what she has to beat over a certain distance, that's how I see it. I'm not defending her, I don't need to. I'm, I'm prepared for it to get beat one day, but she's going terrific. I feel like a bloke from a boy band, I've got to keep doing that. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll, we'll go through the, the George Main, or, you know, I'll, I'll give the sponsor the the wrap first, the Optic. Colgate Optic White. We'll just go through. So you spoke about Winks. What about um, McQuarrie, McIntosh uh, and Fox Ah, uh, Well, McQuarrie was a touch disappointing first up. Maybe the the way the track was racing at Ramwick, but maybe he's looking for further. So I've opted to stick to them, go up to the mile and run him away for age because of the Bill Ritchie, he just had too much weight. He's only a little fella. So going to find it hard to run the first three but I feel it's a nice race probably going towards the hill stakes in two weeks. Um, Fox play. Fox play. How's she come because she's been a little while now since that great first up run. Very good first up run. Flattened her for the first few days. She um, she's come through it well now. I gave her a good week to get over it. She was bouncing out of her skin in no time. Um, funnily enough it's the same preparation that Weeks had last year going into the race. All right. um, in fact, I don't think Wings had a trial. Fox Plays had a trial last Friday. I can't fault her. She's ready to run in the top three and um, drawn to get a lovely run. McIntosh? Good run last start. Mile is suiting better. Probably needs to improve a bit. To prove himself a weight for age level of Group 1, but a nice race going forward. He won't be far away. Four runners in the race, can you split them? <laughs> <laughs> You often go the wrong way, I reckon. I won't say anything then. <laughs> Let's go back, race two, the shootout mile. Love yeah. to win the shootout. What about the shootout? Yeah, he's a great horse. Great, great horse. horse. Um, who trained him? Um, who trained him before he came to you? Um, oh, God. Champion bloke. Yeah, really good. Champion bloke. You should know this. Wallace. Johnny Wallace. That's right. God. Uh, I apologise, Johnny. Did a great job with him, and, and I was lucky enough to get him at, in the middle of, to the end of his career. But what a fantastic horse. In fact, he won the George Main first up, first up over a mile, so that's the type of horse he was. And uh, yeah, very good horse. What, are, what are, is this horse? My uh, Nordic hero, I thought was super first start in Australia behind Washington Heights. Yeah, very good run. He exceeded my expectations. Maybe just that second up type syndrome, two week back up. That was his first run for two years. So I'd be a little bit cautious. I don't want to put anyone off, yeah. but I think he's got a good race in him. And he, but he might still be another week or two away. Belladero? Had no luck first. No luck. He was very wide, so forget that run. And it was the way the track was playing by the time yeah. the end. They all wanted to be where it wanted to be. Expect improvement. 
Uh, we go to we go to the Bill Ritchie. Now this is a good race. Um, McCreary doesn't run there, but you've got Tom Melbourne and coming through. Yeah. Does Tom Melbourne does he stand up? He's been both runs for you have been terrific. They have. Um, you can make excuses for him not winning last start, and he got beat by Happy Clapper. Mm. Very good horse. So he's drawn to get a good run on Saturday, and he'll get that. It'll be very hard to win, uh, hard to beat. I just want to time his run so that uh, he doesn't get to the front too soon because he just looks to have a does look to have a bit of a look around. So I think well timed run. You can see him still be sharp over the 1400. Not too concerned about that because second up 1400 he was fine. What about the other one coming through? Good to see it back in the winner's circle. We know yeah. how good a horse it is, and there's no speed in the race. It will be up in the first couple. Yeah, he showed last start that he's he's attacking the line now. He was given every chance to be run down. He was leader by default in a, a race with lacking speed. It's at a slightly tricky barrier on Saturday. Um, so it's at least it's good to know that he is a bit versatile, but clearly a different horse to last prep, of which he was group one place last time. Can you split them? I think Lucky Running will, will tell the story. I agree with you. I'm going with Tom Morgan. I, I, I love when people doubt a horse and he's a pretender. He's a good horse. Let's go to the Kingston Town. We'll go through on quick. Uh, who shot the barman? How's he progressing? Very well. Obviously, third up, 2400 will be when you'd really expect him to, to, to get back to winning form, hopefully. Um, so, nice midfield finish would be satisfactory. Libren? Exactly the same. Uh, he's come back much better than where he was at in the order. Um, we'll go through the other roughy first. Uh, Kinema? I'd say he's one step behind those two. But. Yeah, looking for 2,600. Now, the two the two fancy runners in the race, Life Less Ordinary and then Tony Adesepi is probably drawn a little bit awkward. They're both ready to win. They've had a perfect prep. Their lead-up runs couldn't have been any more impressive. Um, the right form lines behind weeks. And certainly not totally disgraced. So third up, 2,000 metres is going to be a big plus. I think they're both destined for better things. How far they get, who knows? But Saturday's a very important race for them. Can you split them? Oh, luck in running, uh, Richard is. Sorry, I just like your answer. I think Antonio Giuseppe needs to be respected um, for the fact that he was narrowly beaten in the Metrop last year, and then I stepped him up too quick in the autumn. Over 2,000 metres, he was second up, and it broke his heart. And from memory, it was the squiddy spirit and red excitement that did it. And after that, I struggled with it. Life less ordinary. You've got to remember, he's a two-mile winner. Anyway, so. He should really start to be coming into his own. He did get beaten a similar race back in around Christmas time, but I think he's a different horse now. So, gee, I think there's a lot of upside in life less ordinary. So that's what you eventually got there? I didn't say that. <laughs> Dagny in the last. Good bait, good gate. Bit of tempo. Yeah, I think last 50 metres you'll really see a join in and it'll be pretty hard to beat first up. Obviously she's running against the boys and it's first up, but she's trialled exceptionally well. What about we go to Melbourne, the Bobby Lewis, your, your Ponner's Meal, Japanese me, um, nice barrier, Benny Miller, who's in dashing form. Yeah, he's um, he's down there to avoid the, the, the hot sprint race yeah. in Sydney. He's a, he's a winner up in Australia at Group 1 level. Um, it's been a while since he's shown that form. And I'm a little bit reluctant, first up, 1200 up straight, down the straight. So, if you're around the top five, I'd say he's, he's come back in good shape, ready to win a nice race soon. And what about Emma Varsha? He hasn't even been a stalwart for the stable. Sure, ha sure has. He's knocking on a million dollars in prize money. Um, he's drawn 15 and 16 and a half, so that's that's the query. He needs, needs a bit of luck, but he'll be attacking the line, attacking the line strongly. What about the Queensland stable? Paul Shaler and the team out there doing a, a good job. You got a few runners. Can you pick out a couple for Saturday? That um, Colosimo, she's ready to improve. And it was a better run last start, and it's a right distance 1350. Um, Loving Home. Is it Parker's up there as well? Actually, Loving Home raced last week. Last week. Uh, my, Gil my Giuliano's up there, is it? My Giuliano. He's a top weight, um, over a suitable distance, 2200. Um, so he'll, he'll run well. And the Rumor Fog ran a much better race last start. Probably a slight. Needs a dry track. It. All yeah. its best for on, on good tracks. Yeah. Got to the front a bit early the other day. He's drawn to get a nice run. Be hard to beat. Can I ask you about Wednesday at Canterbury? A horse that debuted. 
Jeez, I thought it was very impressive, uh, Perret. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. He showed us a bit of ability. Came through the Melbourne stable, came up here had a couple of quiet trials. Yeah, it was very impressive to say the least. I think you'll see the best of the autumn. We will give him a chance to prove himself. I'd say there's a 20% chance he can get to a court war. 20% chance he can get to a court few guineas. No more than that though. So he'll race in 10 to 14 days, over 1,200 again, possibly 1,300. And we'll see if he stands up. Uh, it could be a, a late addition to the spring and a really promising horse owned by Neville Morgan. Yes. And Dave Devine. Uh, Mr Devine, a good mate up in yeah, Queensland. So he races in the sizzling colours. And uh, yeah, good to have a, a good horse for both of them. Runners everywhere. Lead wings out, because that was the easy way up. Can you just put that thumb on something, the best? I think it'll be Loving Home or Antonio Giuseppe. Really? They're ready to, they're ready to go to a new level. Um, was Loving Home running? Not Loving Home. Life is ordinary. <laughs> Life is ordinary. I was going to say loving, huh? Life is ordinary at Tanya, same race. As is Tom Melbourne coming through. Like the look at semi final weekend. You're allowed to join a couple of horses. It's not the final yet. Yeah, stables at Parramatta. You live around, I suppose, around as far as you. Um, are you a Parramatta fan? Yeah. <laughs> when they get knocked out, are you a Parramatta fan? Still like sharks. They're gone. Well, they're gone too. They're gone. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the, the orchid shark, the, <laughs> the rub union. <laughs> Whose box is this one? This stable? It's a swabbing store. <laughs> no dramas there? Nah, good. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Yeah, Mercedes Benz, is it? Yeah. Not Parramatta. <laughs> Mercedes Benz, Parramatta. Good also, luck. So, you got Brad Harper. Brad Harper? Yeah. You know who he is? Coach of Parramatta. He's a coach of Parramatta. Good luck. There he is, Chris Waller.